country another thursday evening and it's another edition where on thursday evenings we go live first of all let me say a very 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 special thank you very much to everybody subscribers viewers everybody we're literally on the edge of 7000 subscribers very very close so i firstly i appreciate your support and as always i appreciate uh, what you have given so far to this channel, your support over the last four and a half years. So help me get over the line to 7,000 subscribers and let's push on from there. Very, very close to 7,000 subscribers. Can you imagine we started the channel in 2016 and look where we are right now on the edge of 7,000 subscribers. Another thing I would like to touch on is that I did a video a couple of days ago about Leon Bailey and where would he fit if he was to go to Manchester United. So do take a look at that video after this live. All right. So after this video, you can take a look at that video regarding Leon Bailey and give me your thoughts about this and if he would fit in well at Manchester United. If not, if you personally feel that it should be another club that he should go to. And like I said in the video, I personally don't think that he will go there. But I do think that there is a slim possibility. But I do think uh, that his future will lie elsewhere. But never say never in the transfer market. You know, you see some outstanding things. You see some shocking things. And speaking of shocking things... Junior Flemings, reggae boy Junior Flemings, has penned a one-year deal with Birmingham Legion in the United Soccer League. Flemings, who had interest in Scandinavia, who had interest in Turkey, is playing another season in the United Soccer League, and he also has the option to extend his deal a further year until the end of 2022. A lot can happen if you watched primetime sports and television Jamaica on Wednesday. You would have heard the interview that I did with Flemings. You would have heard how he responded. He wants to give another season in North America. He feels that for the development of his career, that one more season would help him to get where he wants to be in football. He says he's 24, 25, and he feels that there is an avenue for him where he can propel his career across the Atlantic with another season. He wants to replicate what he did last year and then the sky is the limit for him, you know? So let's hope that Junior Flemings will be able to get to Europe, Eastern Europe, wherever it may be in the near future. On the reggae girls side of things, Sydney Schneider was drafted the ninth pick in the third round of the National Women's Soccer League draft, and she will be playing her trade with the Washington Spirit. Yes, she's going to be playing her trade with Kelly O'Hara, World Cup winner. Schneider, the goalkeeper, was the first goalkeeper to be drafted in the draft on Wednesday evening. She's now going to be one of four Jamaicans in the league alongside Chena Matthews, Havana Salone, and Kanya Plummer. Chantel Swebe was released re uh, recently. So it's four Jamaicans that are in the league at this point in time. We wish Sydney all the best. And for those of you that are watching live at this point in time, at around 7.50 Jamaica time, you'd see my interview that I did with Sydney Schneider about her move and how excited she is to play football professionally. So this is an outstanding move by her to play in arguably one of the best leagues in women's football. So we wish her all the best in her personal development. On the men's side of things, Jamaica, they remain fifth in the CONCACAF rankings index behind Mexico, the United States, Costa Rica, and Honduras. Remember, the CONCACAF rankings index is a different, is separate from the FIFA rankings. The CONCACAF rankings index is used for seedings for regional tournaments. This is separate and apart from FIFA rankings. And on the women's side of things, the reggae girls are third in the CONCACAF rankings index behind the United States and Canada. The 2023 FIFA Women's World Cup qualifiers will kick off in November, while the 2022 CONCACAF Men's World Cup qualifiers will kick off for Jamaica in September. So busy, busy, busy action for our national teams in 2021. So we do hope that they'll be able to both make history 
and get to another World Cup. So we we hope and we pray and we we wish them all the best. We wish them all the best. You know, we we pray that they deliver their best on the day. You know, let's let's work with with that. Let's see what you guys are saying in the comments because I want to head over to Instagram because I didn't get the opportunity to last week. Inquisitive871 says big up and I say big up. Ricardo South says good night. I say good evening. Good night is what you say before you go to bed. Good evening is what you say when you're greeting somebody. Good night is what you say but literally before you go to bed or when you're leaving a setting. Dre Andre Mill says congratulations. Thank you. Live Walcott says, big up. I say, big up. Rico Don says, yes, sir, Medea. Yeah, man, Medea too. How credible are the Tapa email leaks? Email regarding Brian Monroe. Big up, big up. One way, what's going on with Ravel? So, Gary Neville of Salford City FC has inquired about Ravel Morrison. So, they're currently in a discussion to see if Ravel can come back to England. So that's a potential offer on the table. Who is telling Flemings these things? I'm not sure what you're referring to. Wayne Carnegie, USL is a eat a food league. Birmingham Legion has a lot of money. There's a reason why Nico Brett decided to go to Birmingham Legion instead of go to MLS. Reggae girls need back menses. They certainly do. Dre Arsenal Mill, not liking what is happening in and around football locally. Well, you see, to be honest with you, Dre Arsenal Mill, the Minister of Sports, Olivia Grange, said that they're going to have a series of meetings with the sporting bodies. Now, Jamaica has 55 sporting associations. The Jamaica Football Federation, the Jamaica Cricket Association, the Jamaica Administrative Athletics Association, the Jamaica Rugby Football Union, the Jamaica Rugby League Association, the Jamaica Lacrosse Association, the Jamaica Floorball Association, the Jamaica Hockey Federation, the Jamaica Baseball Association. 55 sports are played in Jamaica. So you can imagine the amount of weeks it's going to take to get through all 55 of them. So I'm going to be quite frank with all of you subscribers this evening no football will be played in january and no football where the local premier league is, is concerned i don't see local football being kicked before another month from now i'm being quite frank with you and it would not surprise me if there is not a local premier league season it wouldn't surprise me and i'm not saying this being pessimistic i'm saying this being realistic I personally don't think that there's going to be a National Premier League. But if there is one, it's not going to happen before four weeks' time. Honestly, the only local sports that I think will happen... Horse racing is happening right now. Champs, I believe, will happen in some shape or form. There you go. When will the local league get, get the go-ahead? Like I said, not before February. Not before middle of February. But my understanding is that the football stakeholders are pushing for a late February start. A late February start, that is what stakeholders are pushing for. Is that team interested in Ravel in the championship? No, Salford City are not currently playing in the championship. They're playing League 2. The email was about Tapa's requests to the JFF pre and post Saudi Arabia. Oh, the... It was mentioned in the technical report, and yes, it is true, because I've seen the technical report. Who is better, Rolanda Ahrens or Bobby Reed? Who is better? Bobby Reed is better. Absolutely. Any updates on McGee? McGee is going to strut his stuff and stay at Cass Penn. Which tears Gary Neville's club? Yeah, League Two. Ricardo Smith South says, I'm so confident we're going to make it to the World Cup and we're going to do our best. Well, I hope so. I really, really hope so. Qualification get knocked in, especially for local base players. 
no, World Cup qualifiers can still happen even if a national league is not being played. It just yeah, sorry, it just means that the bulk of the squad will have to be players that players that apply their trade in England, Scandinavia, Eastern Europe, Asia, North America. That's where the bulk of our players are coming from anyway. And like I said, I am hoping that the agents of the local base players are looking and analyzing options, even if it means a loan deal to the Canadian Premier League, the USL, the MLS, even if it's a loan deal until the summer to keep active. This is why players have agents. And out of all local players, only Kemal Malcolm's agent is eagerly looking for something. So is Akeem Chambers' agent eagerly looking for for a, a loan move so that they could ply their trade overseas for the for the time being. Anybody else? I don't know. I'm sure there's gonna be a question about Peter Lee Vassal at some point, but Peter Lee Vassal is going through challenging moments. And he needs this time to reflect. And he needs this time to really think about what he wants in life. Think about his journey. Because the talent we know is out of this world. We know this could be our midfielder for the next 10 years. That's how good this player is. But does he know that? Does he know exactly what he can bring to the national program? Does he know that he can score 30 international goals? I really hope he does. I really do. Put it that way. Apart from Andre Blake, which keeper you think would do a good job for the reggae boys? You, Everybody knows that I'm a massive, massive Dwayne Miller fan. And you all know the reason why. Because of his record with clean sheets, his record with saves... And also his his positioning when it comes to dead ball opportunities. Bar the, the Gold Cup final against USA 2017, I think he's been great with those positioning scenarios. I know injuries has hurt him. And I know he is essentially at the twilight of his career. But I do think he can fill in for a game or two if there's yellow card suspensions or injuries. Amal Knight is a good understudy as well. So where the backups are concerned, I have no issue with that at all. If you want to talk long term, then Jadeen White is the man. But I don't think he's ready as yet to step in the hot seat. Can he play a game at the Gold Cup? Sure. I have no problem whatsoever with him playing a game at the Gold Cup. But World Cup qualifying, that's where we need the best players. That's where we need the best players. Yeah, I broke, I broke uh, a jumbo Palmer says car racing must be allowed. Yeah, rally. Like I said, you know, 55 sporting bodies. And if you do, if you talk to one sporting body per day, that's 55 days. That's a month and a half. Well, literally two months. But I feel that they're going to try and speak to three sporting bodies a day. So that way you're able to get everything in place. In a couple of weeks, perhaps. I understand what you're saying, RTS Vibes, regarding football being the most popular sport on the island. And that is true. Football is our bread and butter. Football is what we love. Football is our number one sport. I'm telling you, from the government's perspective, that they don't want a situation where it's like, oh, we're only focusing on football, cricket and track and field the major sports in Jamaica and forgetting the quote-unquote minor sports. I don't even like that term minor sports because those quote-unquote minor sports that people talk about are always advancing to international competitions and doing so well for Jamaica and sometimes even getting medals. You know, the, 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 our highest ranked male sports team is not even the reggae boys. It's our rugby team. It's our Jamaica Rugby League team. They're the highest male sports team ranked. They're ranked 13th after we qualified for the Rugby League World Cup in 2018. And you're telling me that that they shouldn't get the same level of support. When I mean support, I'm not talking monetary, but conversation about resumption. 
for me, I'm, I'll be quite frank with you, sports that are doing well internationally, they deserve the, the support and the, the, the recognition and the attention for, of a conversation similar to football. But if you ask me right now, when is football going to play? I'll be quite frank with you, not in January. Not in January. Why leave Eric Debussy to go to League Two? Better money. You're going back home because Salford is a team in Manchester and Robert Morrison is from Manchester. Flemings need to play in a higher quality league. Yep. Ricardo Smith, do you think Kyle Butler should get a chance in the national team? No. When is the next international friendly? Well, that's the thing because we are due to face Catalonia in March. However, Spain right now is not doing an excellent job as it relates to containing or recoveries of the virus. Spain is one of the few countries right now in the world that you don't know how much recoveries they are getting. They'll show you the number of cases that they have accumulated, but they've not shown the number of recoveries that they've had. And Spain, especially in Barcelona, which is the Catalan region, is in a state of emergency. So will that much go on? I have my doubts as well, being completely frank about it. And that UK camp, I have my doubts about that as well. So we're just going to have to wait another month to see how things unfold. That's the reality. So for now, it's going to require patience on our part. Is there any new player that we're looking at? Other than, the men, other than the six names that I've made mentioned of week after week after week after week, no. Nothing has changed. Nothing has changed from the six names that I made mention of. Yes, Inquisitive, that is correct. A lot of the... And you need to differentiate because Rugby League and Rugby Union are two different sports. So you have to differentiate what you're talking about. And you speak about players and all of that, that, you know, rugby league players or rugby union players being, having a English are from England. So are us. Who was our top scorer in the final round of World Cup Pula final? A man that was born in Reading in England, Dion Burton. Khadija Shaw was our highest scorer in World Cup qualifying, right? Who scored our first goal in the World Cup? A girl from Hong Kong, Havana Salon. Who scored our first ever goal in the FIFA Men's World Cup? Robbie Earl, a man from Stoke and Trent in England. We need to stop this division now, once and for all. Let's just stop it. Stop it! Paul Hall is just as much as a Jamaican as I am. He might have been born in a different country from me, but guess what? He's a Jamaican just like me. He might have been born in a different land, but he's a Jamaican. Dion Burton, Adrian Mariapa, Michael Hector, Jermaine Beckford, Daniel Gordon, although he can't speak Pato, he's still a Jamaican. Because you're not born here doesn't make you not a Jamaican. These same guys grew up with a Jamaican culture. They know what it's like. They're here every, every strike in summer with their parents. Only a handful of them, you can question their loyalty and commitment. I'll admit some of them are here just for the, the likes and, 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 the, and the Instagram followers. But not the ones we currently have. Stop this division about England versus local place players. The best team needs to take the field. The best team. And if it means that 8 out of the starting 11 were born in England, so be it. What is our goal? To get to the World Cup. That is the goal. And guess what? When we qualify, there is not going to be an asterisk that's saying, Oh, we had seven English-born players in the starting 11. Oh, we had nine starting 11 English-born players in 11. There won't be an asterisk. It's going to be Team Jamaica. Look back at Morocco's team at the World Cup. Does it say 
oh, seven French-born players, two Spanish-born players, and one Canadian player in the starting 11. No. It says Morocco nil, Iran won. It says Spain won, Morocco won. It says Portugal won, Morocco nil. That's what it says. When Senegal went to the World Cup, did it say French B team? No. It said Senegal. When Togo went to the World Cup, did it say French C team? No. It said Togo. And when Jamaica goes to the World Cup, it will not say England D. It will not say England C. It's going to say Jamaica. I'm done with this conversation. Done with this. And like I said about the names already, if you follow me on Twitter at SimonP93, I've mentioned them every striking Thursday from the month of November. I've spoken about Liam Moore. I've spoken about Rolanda Aarons. I've spoken about Andre Gray. I've spoken about Kemar Roof. I've spoken about Isaac Hayden. And I've spoken about Ivan Tony. Next thing you know, people go and tell me, say, I'm not a Jamaican because I'm a third generation Jamaican. Do people not understand how diverse we are as a nation? Do people not understand how we are? Do you know what my ancestors did for this country? Whatever you want to say about the English and whatever you want to say about colonization, my great grandparents built the roads for this land on my father's side. On my mother's side, my great grandparents helped the, sh the, the sugar plantations and the banana plantations of this land in the irrigation in what is known today as Jamaica producers. What you all love today as chippies and, 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 and St. Mary's banana chips. That project started centuries ago. Well, you could say a century ago. So don't question me, don't question Daniel Gordon, don't question Mariapa, don't question Ravel Morrison, don't question any one of them. They're a Jamaican. Don't question Sidney Schneider, don't question Lauren Silva, don't question Chantel Swaby, don't question Kayla McCoy, don't question Shade Adama Lakon. Because they're Jamaicans too. I'm finished. What do you mean when somebody don't look like Jamaicans? I don't understand you. What do you mean you don't look like a Jamaican? Did Daniel Gordon not look like a Jamaican? Did Joel Senior not look like a Jamaican? Do I not look like a Jamaican? I don't know what to say. Unbelievable. It is what it is, though. I guess people will have to say. Why do you leave Ethan Pinnock from your list? Like I said, week in, week out, the names that I've mentioned is who is on our target, and Ethan Pinnock is not on our list. So I'm not going to call a name of a player that is not on our list. Nathan Ferguson is not on our list. Ethan Pinnock is not on our list. Ethan Laird is not on our list right now. Could that change? Yes. When it does, you will be the first to know. Simple. Ravel is in Jamaica every summer one way. Ravel was here as recent as 2018 when we drew 1-1 with Antigua and Barbuda at Sabina Park. Ravel is here all the time. Jamai Topi to Europe? No. There's some interest in the Canadian Premier League. So, yeah. Michael Seaton to England? No, I think he's going to extend his deal in Germany. The Rana Williams, yeah, Brianna Williams. I don't hear anybody saying, oh, Brianna Williams is an American. She's born in the United States. Leah Nugent, Aisha Proudley, are big Commonwealth Games gold medalist. I don't hear anybody saying, oh, that's an American. No. You put on the jersey, you're a Jamaican. <sighs> Mr. 
with Ivan and Roof as targets for the JFF. How do you see Nicholson stacking up? He's still going to get games, boss. He's still going to play at least nine of the 14 games in World Cup qualifying, or maybe even more, because it's going to be a long qualifying cycle, and the recovery between games is going to be key. Any updates on Kemar Roof? No, the Jamaican High Commission in London is closed, so Roof and Gray cannot get their passports until the earliest February. Kevin Lambert to England and Europe. I think he's going to spend another season in USL. Alvas Paul to England? No. Chevron Givens. Let's ask ourselves, which regular World Cup team doesn't have persons who could play for another nation? Yeah, because even Brazil have players that were born in Portugal. Even Brazil have players that were not born in Brazil in the past. England, France, Germany. Yeah. Every land. It's called diversity. Young defenders in Germany, they haven't been approached. What's happening with Isaac Hayden? No, nothing. Yes, Anya Richards is a Jamaican. She might have represented the USA, but she's a Jamaican. Robin Fraser, former, well, former American international Robin Fraser is a Jamaican. Jeff Cunningham is a Jamaican as well. So, you understand me? Demar Gray for Jamaica. Like I said, from the meeting against with, with Gareth Southgate, he's still considering his options where international football are concerned. He still wants some time to think about it as he's out of favor at Leicester City right now and he just wants to analyze his, his opportunities. So we'll see how, how that can, how that goes with Demar Gray. Will Demar Gray go to Southampton or Marseille? I understand Marseille would be offering a little bit more in terms of wages. So if he goes there, even if it's a loan deal, I think it would be really, really good for him so hard for our best young defenders to secure good quality contracts abroad usl is just a crap league i think fleming is better than usl we all know that we all know that usl is is not the best league but you know right now it's it's, it's hopefully a place where it can be an avenue to transfer into another market any new transfer news well other than mariapa's new contract bobby reed is going to stay at fulham and we await to hear news about Omar Holness and his contract situation at Darlington FC. He hasn't signed a new contract, which means he could be on the move at the end of January. So we await to see what happens on deadline day, if he will be moving or if he will be staying. So we want to stay tuned for that at the end of January. Other than that, where Jamaican footballers are concerned, there's nothing much new really. But once new developments happen, then then you all be the first to know Rolanda Aaron's Huddersfield Town. So th that is outstanding. So let's hope that, you know, things can progress quite soon. Nicky Daly to, to England. Uh, no, he's going to spend another year in Charleston. Peter Lee Vassal to England. No. Would you start Roof immediately over Nicholson? I wouldn't say immediately. No, I would start Roof in the Gold Cup. And if he impresses in the Gold Cup, then definitely and shines then starts roof over Nicholson in the qualifiers. Paris to England? No. What's happening with Liam Moore? Nothing. He's getting his passport. And if he lives to see tomorrow morning, he'll represent Jamaica in the future. At some point. <sighs> Do Rebel have any other offer from teams in Europe? Rebel Morrison has two offers in particular. Well, these are just preliminary discussions. Gary Neville at Salford City and Big Sam at West Brom. So right now, those are the only two right now that are interested in Ravel Morrison. But I'll keep you all posted with that. West Brom with Big Sam, who he worked with at West Ham United, and Salford City. So those are the two at this point in time. Do you see this Reggae Boys team as a golden generation? I wouldn't call it a golden generation because I feel the squad that we had in the 2000s, 2008 period, I think that was a, 
I, I think 2010 we should have qualified for South Africa, but that poor start we had we had let us down. So for me, the the 2008 team was, for me, like you could call the golden generation. Donovan Ricketson, Ned, Ian Pepe Goodison, Tyrone Marshall, Claude Davis in defence. You had midfield Jamal Campbell Rice, Demar Phillips, Ricardo Bibi Gardner, Omar Daly. Up top, you know, you have Luton Shelton, Omar Cummings, Marlon King. I think that was just a Mercado full up. I think for me that was just a, a team that should have twenty ten we should have qualified for the World Cup. And arguably two thousand and six as well. Especially with Micah Hyde, Richard Langley, that crew as well. That light skin tone Woodbine who used to play for Stets. Is he still playing? Well, since he got released from Charleston Battery, he hasn't found a, a club, so. Who's your main striker for the Gold Cup? If Roof gets his passport, then Kemar our Roof, 110%. We should have qualified for 2006 and 2010. I agree with you, 110 percent you know it's unfortunate that that team didn't go on a gold cup run as well 2009 i thought we would have gone on a gold cup run but we unfortunately didn't so i'll explore that in a future video of reggae boys commentary all right guys i'm gonna head over to instagram right now to catch up with the instagram live people so guys don't forget to subscribe to reggae boys commentary really really appreciate the support this close to 7,000 subscribers follow me on instagram simon at preston follow me on twitter at simep93 and don't forget as well to subscribe to Reggae Boys Commentary. Cool, cool.